Hello and welcome my friend and then I am planning to give you really important information that what is my engine's firing order and this firing means that how this my engine gives sparks and there is really I have now removed this spark plug and it is my hand and in this my engine there is one two three four of these spark plugs and this is like firing starting point because these parts this part gives sparks in here it is like small fire what makes this engine to run with air and fuel so easy only we need spark plug and electricity and then air and gasoline and then engine starts to run so simple and now when we are thinking that in what way these my cylinders they are sparking in this way we have to firstly remove this cylinder head cover, cover that part I have already removed these bolts there's normally all engines in same way these screws in this area and this is normal way in old all cars hood and when we have removed this cylinder head cover we can look these spark plug holes in here there is really one where the spark plug goes in here then second third and fourth in here and now we are thinking that in what order these things are moving and that's we need to go to we go to visit in internet or then in some auto auto hardware store or some another shop that we purchase tool what is this hexagonal six millimeter this tool and I have great this bond use brands this uh, tool and there is this this made in USA and I can recommend this is really usable uh, this piston check tool also this is very useful and the thing is that this must be thin and enough long like one feet 30 centimeters is excellent and now when I install this my tool in this spark plug hole in this way we can hear this sound metallic sound and this sound come from piston and now we have take piston contact and now we can see also that when I install this my tool in here these things are a little bit in different position all of these and that's it is good to start to install similar like this tool to all of these spark plug holes and now I have situation that I have only one of these excellent tool and this goes in this piston one and then I have uh, these uh, screwdrivers what is about same length like in that one same size and now I can install these my tools in all of these holes and let's go to look these holes okay now we can see those holes I install my tool in here and this is also that one goes in there and final one goes in here good and now when I have installed these tools in all of those piston holes and piston hole is same like spark plug hole now we can see that in what order these tools are moving and this is the trick and before of that we have to set up our engine to this top dead center position and it is easy when we look at where is this timing belt or chain it is in here and this top dead 
top dead center position is this cylinder one's position. This is cylinder one because it is the nearest of this timing chain. And that's, I have to lift up this cylinder. And for that movement, I need tool. Okay, and for that movement, we need now this wrench and then also socket. And now this my size is 21 millimeter. And this socket, which just this cranks out pull field bolt. And now when I rotate that in this way, then this my engine is running and we can see that how this my testing tools moves. Okay, and now I start to rotate this my crankshaft using that my tool and rotation is clockwise, clockwise. And now we can see that all of these my tools moves nicely. And this is good sign. And now I need to do this top dead center setup so that when this tool is up, then we are in top dead center when also these camshafts heads in the cylinder one are also up. And let's go to look that area that we can see wh what is this top dead center position. It is like our starting point. Now really my purpose is to rotate this my engine, this crankshaft so that this part comes up the most top position and also that these camshafts cams these heads are in up. Now they are in wrong position, but let's look that when I rotate that, what we can see, now this part is moving up, and also these cams heads, they are now coming up, and they must be in some position, same position. And let's go to look closer. Okay, and there is intake and exhaust cam, and these parts must be in same position in up and now they are almost in same little bit more and now they are in up and also this my tool is in up and that means now and that means now that when this my tool is most up in topest position and also that cam and that cam head is up now we are in this this top dead center position, TDC position. Okay, and now we are in piston one position, and this is like how this firing order starts. And normally this is piston one what gives spark. And then it is interesting to see that what is this firing order and what is the next cylinder and how we can Notice that. Okay, and then if we now know that this is first in this firing order, this is like firing order position one, then we need to know that what is second one in here? What is the second? And it is easy to understand so that next we look that what of these three pistons in here first came up and also that these cams heads are up in these areas. And let's rotate this my crankshaft and we can see that what of these my tools lift up firstly. Now I start to rotate. Now these two, two are coming up. Interesting. But which one of these is this next in firing order? It is easy to see when we look these cams. And there is one cam coming up, and now I believe that this is cylinder 1, cylinder 2, cylinder 3, cylinder 4. Now I believe that this is the cylinder 3, what is next in line. And let's look. Now it's like up, good. And also cams, they are in here in up position, and we can go look closer. Now we can nicely see that this tool is like most up and also that cam 
and this cam what belongs to cylinder 3 they are in also an up and that means that next firing order cylinder and piston and spark plug is this cylinder 3 cylinder 3 next give the spark and then we go to check that what is then this third firing order in line okay and now I continue this my crankshaft rotation and there is really that this was second in this firing order and now it, it is this cylinder 3 and let's check that what which one of these the cylinder 2 or cylinder 4 in next in firing order and I rotate crankshaft let's look that what comes up and I have to check that they are movable okay now it seems that that one cylinder 4 is coming up and let's go to look cylinder 4 okay and now it seems that the cylinder 4 is this next in this firing order line and this is like third third in firing line and I I, I move these cams in up good and now we can see all of these things that this this uh, tool is in up and also that cam and that cam are up and that means now that this firing order position 3 is now the cylinder 4 excellent and then we can very easily understand what is the last one in this firing order okay and now we can think like rational way that this is first cylinder and then the cylinder 3 was this second and then this cylinder 4 is third in line and then we can think that this final in firing line is the cylinder cylinder 2 but let check that this really happens and now I rotate this my crankshaft in that way and now both of these cylinders came up but let's see that which one also owns this up face cams and in this is really true that now in the cylinder 2 there is the situation that both cams are up but let's go to check those okay and now we can see really well that these cams they are up and also that tool and this means now that the cylinder 2 is in this firing order this is in line line in here and this is like fourth fourth in this firing order and it is cylinder 2 okay and then we can also check this cylinder 3 that what are these cams positions okay and here is really cylinder 3 and in there we can see that all cams are down and that means that there is no no any sparking in this area okay good and let's check then all of these cylinders movement now we can check that how these cylinders moves when I rotate and these tools moves when I rotate this this uh, crank crankshaft okay and they move nicely and that means that everything is okay and this is really nice information and my friend thumbs up and see you in next movie